Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. God bless you. Thank you very much for being there. Yeah, uh, don't mind my, my lenses. Yeah, I just have to do this. I just have to uh, discover that I need it because I'm facing the light, you know, so much. And that's why I need this to protect my eyeballs, all right? Thank you for being there and God bless you. Now, in this video, I'm going to show you some series of videos. I'm going to show you uh, magic on the streets I want to, I'm gonna show you where a young pastor from Limpopo turned beer into water so he said but before we got to that place before we get to that place rather I like to start by saying that I remember in those days when uh, we do see magicians uh, you know perform in the streets um, I also remember when we were in primary school so many years back that Sometimes the school authority will uh, bring in some magicians to come and entertain the, the children. I really wouldn't understand the essence of that, but looking back then, I know to then now, I would think maybe it's because of the gain that the, maybe the head teacher would make because uh, it was not free. I wasn't actually opportune to be uh, in so many of them because I couldn't afford to pay the fee i i couldn't afford to pay the fee you know that uh we are being paid in those days but i also uh, but 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 um on a few occasions i bumped into them you know performing the market square you know when it is is done in the market square it is always are uh, usually free of charge and the reason for that is because they want to attract customers they want to uh, gain clients those who would come to trust in the in their powers you know um, and so they will look for them i remember uh, seeing a man in the marketplace in one of those days that uh, his own car was used to run him over i also remember seeing in the trunk of the car when he went to uh, recite an incantation or enchantment you know in something that uh, looked like a mortar with some fetish objects plus eggs and so, so on and so forth in it after that then he lay down and uh, his car was used to run him over and people gathered just like people are milling around this young man who suddenly developed interest and desire dream to become one of the highest magicians in the world and he said he want to be uh, one of the best in fact as at today i don't know any magician any top magician in nigeria so he said he wants to be the topmost now when you look at this and you compare what is happening in the churches today the processes of healings the the manipulation in uh you know making people people fall uh and the buying of actors and actresses who would come and and uh, pretend as though the power of god has hit them and you find out that these things 
are just synonymous with what is happening in the world of magic in the world outside outside of the church now the question is what for you know i was thinking on this i had a, you know an inscription pop up on my screen and that was i am thinking of hell meanwhile i will let you watch the guy who turned beer into water and gave his congregation to drink the other time it was somebody turning water into wine but this time around it is now the other way around so while others were turning water into wine himself turned beer now into water i will be seeing you later on at the end of the video yeah. Next. Next. You didn't put anything in. You didn't put anything in. I think we'll tell us to get it. Yeah. Let's put it down here. Rivia fast. Okay. Let's put it down here. Okay. I hear. Let, let, let's put it down here. Rivia fast. In a mighty name of Jesus. In a mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord. Your people have been drinking too much because of Monat and Kola. Yeah. <laughs> Wait. So, Father, but this thing I do not ever want to see in my church. This thing has been destroying people, making them to sin. So, right now, oh God, I change the taste of this thing. Let, let it be tasteless by the power of the Holy Spirit. Livra Hasco Bradia Masca Livra Hasco Livra Hasco Tia. Sekira Mazo Bradia Hasco Bradia Masca Te. Father, turn it into whatever you want. Water. Turn it into water right now in Jesus' name. Bring that oil. People are saying, oil. Ah. Oh, man. I'm going to come <laughs> but right now I change the taste of this beer let it be tasteless to your people so that they can believe in you so that they will believe in you in Jesus mighty name Jesus, my Okay, who wants to start first? <laughs> <laughs> the friend of Mozart <laughs> Okay, open. You will have one in What's happening? What did I get? I'm dizzy. I'm becoming dizzy. How is it? You are nice one. How is it? Yeah, wow. huh? yeah, wow. It's sour. It's not nice anymore. <laughs> Libro kush ke lebreida la has ke biema, ke pra has ke ti amansi gividi la rus. La kronze ki ki klari ku kontesta le yi. How is it? No, no test. I need that. No test. I need that test. Hey, where are you going? What what's happening? 
What's happening? No more drinking. What did I agree? What's happening? This thing is too sour. Very it's, it's, sour. It's tasteless, I don't know. It's tasteless. Yeah, what I was drinking. Eh? <laughs> Here I have the brando. There he goes, I have the jar. I don't want to drink this yeah? How, how is it? <laughs> Come stand here. Eat, eat my. How does it taste? Wait. Huh? You have a touch. I see a good touch. It's not the same one. This one is very sour. Very, very, very sour. It's not good. Huh? You have a <laughs> what's happening? Hey, hey, hey! What, what, what's happening? Hey! What's happening? How does it taste? Huh? What, what, what is it? What, what is it? What, what is it? What is it? I don't know it. Are you here? Let's have one, huh? Hey! Come here. You'll be here thinking me, you know, Prophet, that's not here. You're too late, you're too late, you're too late, you're too late. Hey! The problem is, you'll be next again. I'm not going to be here, I'm not going to be here, I'm not going to be here, I'm not going to be here. What? Well, thank you very much for being there. Thank you for watching up until this moment. You have, you've seen that, you saw what took place there. Uh, looking at the substance in the bottle, um, the foaming was still there. The color of the beer was still there. Only that they said that it was tasteless in their mouth. But I discovered something that the majority of the first set of persons that tasted that beer uh, about 75 or 80 percent of them happen to be disciples uh, the other lady in bread seemed to be new amongst them and so obviously those were arranged people and those are others that we are laughing and uh, you know smiling are actually uh, members they are in-house people all right I suspect that the, the, the lady that declined at the last hour maybe a new person and the reasoning prevailed because she wouldn't know what probably was um, uh, in the bottle so to speak and you notice too also that when the bottle was cocked open that the gas of the beer or whatever was still very much present in it um i was comparing these things that you see happening now in these places that they call church where well, you know places are called rebranded shrines you know comparing it with what happens in the world of magic magicians entertain people in order to gain the trust of the people to become popular amongst the people to become popular with the people now so when pastors now rebranded witch doctors now are also in the attitude of trying to woo people to themselves by using fake means by faking miracles things that are not happening they make people to make it look like you know is happening and there's that word of magic that you know abracadabra the more you see the i mean the the more you look the less you see the more you look the less you see isn't that what is happening in the church today that the more people are looking the less they are seeing the more people are, are you know seeing dead bodies rise from the you know the coffin they are looking and they, they you know they thought they saw something but they didn't really see anything the more they look and they see people who were fat 
doing you know deflated live on camera they looked they were very very observant but they didn't really see the tiny details okay of what truly truly took place now the more they see the you know they look and hear prophets prophesying names and giving birth dates giving uh um phone numbers and calling home addresses now they look but lesser do they understand and realize that these things are fake these things are falsehood but then thinking of hell thinking of eternity my question now comes to you as a child of god who is in the church what shall what shall it profit you to be entertained what shall it profit you to be deceived the way you have been deceived and yet you you know you at the end of this time you have not received any miracle you they, you have not received anything that is tangible I hear people say, don't talk about that man of God. I was watching him on television and I received my healing. Wonderful. Wonderful. To God be the glory. But I tell you something that God is God and God can never be mocked. God can give you miracles. Sincerely speaking, even without seeing that man of God, if your faith is strong in God, even in your room, God can touch you. If you pray, God can touch you. So it is not really because of the man of God, but because God did not want to disappoint your faith. You have seen what the, uh, he is performing and you believe that this was God in action. And so you trusted God for your own miracle. And so God could give you healing. God could give you that promotion. God could give you that long awaited miracle because your faith was at top notch at that point in time. Now, but I'm not doing this video to discredit any man of God. I'm not doing this video to discredit any prophet. But the question is, when you have young people like this guy here, who is doing this kind of thing, I checked his YouTube channel. He has about 70 subscribers. So obviously, he is starting out new. When Alf Lukao celebrated 1 million subscribers recently, himself is just starting 70 and because of that he is eager and under pressure to impress so he is busy uploading short short videos of fake you know manifestations and the manipulation of people now like this one he just selected four ladies and lined them up you know at the front of of the seat and when it was time for him to manifest he just asked the one two three four of you stand up <laughs> all of you Jenny Sana, I love you. Jenny one. No, 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 no. You have to make an example. According to the power that is within us. Ah, I don't know if you are hearing me. According to what? The power that is within us. Let's look here. The power that is within us. Now, those other members in the church they were looking but they really saw less and so he just manifested that slaying anointing and they fell down now to the gullible to those who were looking but they were seeing less he is so powerful our man of god is a young man but he's filled with the anointing of the holy ghost which holy ghost what holy ghost is that now when he turned beer into water there were a selected group of people who would taste that and attest to the fact that the beer suddenly is no longer having a taste of beer but is now tasteless it wasn't even tasting like water he was tasting like not, you know uh something that they cannot lay hand on now i want to encourage you please it is even better for me Instead, I will die a healthy man and go to hell. Instead, I will die a rich man and go to hell. Instead, I will have everything of life and end up in hell because these pastors don't have any truth for you. Yeah. So I guess that if you start running now, it is not too late for you. If you start making your choice now, it is not too late for you. If you decide now, it will be too late. I bring you, I bring you the truth, the fundamentals of the word of God. You may have miracles. You may have entertainment in the church. 
But if you don't have the truth of the word of God, you cannot grow. And you see, if you don't have enough of the word of God in you, you cannot have faith. And Jesus prayed for the disciples. And the basis for which he prayed for them was because they have kept the word of the Lord. When you don't have enough of the word of the Lord, which one will you keep? I beg of you in the name of the Lord, run away from these entertainers, magicians in the church, and run to the true God. Look for, look for God's servants who are serving God. Some of them might be serving God out of inconveniences, but yet it is worth the while. So I encourage you, look out for them. Get yourself into the word of God and pray more. But the good Lord preserve you, you and keep you in the name of Jesus. Meanwhile, I want to ask you to please subscribe to the channel if you have not done so before. I want to plead with you to like the video if you truly do. Um, share the link to the video and put down your comments. Please select the bell icon tap on the bell icon if you're a new subscriber or even if you're an old subscriber but you've not done this tap on the bell icon and select all so that you will always be notified whenever we upload new video clip but the good lord preserve you and keep you keep you safe and away from charlatans and magicians bandits on the altar until i come your way again in the next video i remain your brother in the lord and i want to say to you shalom